to see him encourage other people to tackle their own impossible mile is such a beautiful gift as a parent to be able to watch your son inspire others. Um, There's just no better gift than that. You know, when he was born, he was premature, um, 11 weeks premature, and he was three pounds, seven ounces. And you know, as a mom, you have this vision of what your family's gonna be like and how everything's gonna be. And you know, you have dreams and hopes and wishes. And when they told us he had cerebral palsy, we didn't want him to actually um, grow up knowing that he had cerebral palsy because we feared that he would limit himself or that others would limit him or we would limit him. And so we just raised him, you know, as our son and loved him. Um, day by day. We had always done triathlon. That's how much I loved it um, when I had done a few races with them. They started off running first and at small races like 5Ks and then it had just eventually it got bigger. The 5Ks turned into 10Ks and then 25Ks and then marathons or half marathons and marathons. So and every time Jeff would say, okay, I'm done. That's the farthest I can go pushing and pulling you. And then Johnny would smile and Jeff would say, okay, well, we can train a little bit more. Michael Bout was a really big inspiration for me. He had put out a video actually done by Under Armour and, and it kind of showed kind of the, the behind the scenes of his training. And so I always looked up to athletes because how, how hard they train and that really inspired me to realize what I could do. He had only ever walked 23 steps. So for him to say, I wanted to walk a mile, Jeff and I both looked at each other and were like, well, that's crazy. But we'd always taught him to always try, right? And so we weren't about to say, there's no way, Johnny, you're going to be able to do that. You know, he wanted to be an athlete like his dad had been. And it was a way of, I think, of Johnny saying thank you to Jeff, you know, for for everything that Jeff had done for him. It took him an hour and 45 minutes to walk and he was exhausted and dead tired, but we say in the book, he never felt better. Minutes after he was done, he said to me, mom, do you think I may have helped one other person with a disability? And I said, Johnny, that's a really cool thing to think, isn't it? You can conquer any challenge if you take on life one step at a time, because I like to say that, you know, if you have a big challenge, it's really daunting. But if you break it into smaller pieces and you and you break those small goals down into into microscopic steps, it makes it a lot easier to understand that your goals are attainable. I always knew that, you know, that speaking and, and sharing my story with people was something that I wanted to do. It was something that I really felt um, called to do and so I can write a book but when people share stories about you know uh, how they were inspired to stop their addiction or how they were inspired to lose weight or whatever the case may be that really puts a fire under you and really shows you hey I I'm this is monumental what I'm doing here and and not just for myself, but for others as well.